Okay, so I just wanted to go over some quick things in Final Cut Pro to make your GoPro footage look really good. The first one is to remove the fisheye. So I'm working on a video right here. I probably have already posted it by the time this video goes up. But to remove the fisheye, there's a plugin you can download. This Alex 4D uh, fisheye. So let me show you an example here. I'll leave a link for the plugin below if I can find it. Uh, you can see the guardrails bent. If I drag and drop, now it's straight. And uh, you can choose which setting you use. So 170 degrees, that's wide. This is medium, and then that's narrow. You can also do a custom angle if you want. Uh, I shot this in wide, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So you can go through and apply that throughout all your footage, and it'll look really good if you want to remove the fisheye. Um, the other thing is color correction. So if you shoot in ProTune, if you use flat color, one thing I've noticed is, since I'm not a professional color grader, is I'm terrible at color grading. But one thing I figured out to make it really easy is, let me show you a clip here. This works for almost everything. Here's one of my dog. Using balance color is so helpful. So if I uncheck it, you can see what it looks like. This is even, let me remove everything. This is before all the color correction. And you can see just with balance color, it really brings everything. And it's not a great shot to begin with. This just boosts some saturation. And I always do a little bit of sharpening to my GoPro. But uh, let me see if I can find a better example here. Let's turn off these things just so you can see what it originally looked like. Balance color on, balance color off. On, off. And then if I add color correction, so what I did for my color correction was, you could see it was a little dark. Like that. So I just boosted the midtones a bit. I also saturated the fur just a little bit more, actually quite a bit. Yeah, 56. So, I did a bit there. Here's another example right here. So here's what it originally looked like. If I uh, turn on balance color, you can see what it does. I didn't really like the look of it. I think it looks a little blue or black and white, whatever you think. So I, I wanted a little bit of a red tone to it, so I did that. Because it's sunset, so I wanted it to have that red, so I just boosted the reds uh, globally. I boosted the saturation as well and left the exposure as it is because I think it's fine. And then I did my obligatory 2.5 sharpen just because I like to do that. So those are my two main tips for color correcting your GoPro footage if you use the flat profile. So I hope you learned something.